Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ4 Ray, and welcome back to Supermarket Simulator. I have stocked the heck out of this place. I've moved a couple things around. Um, I wanted the Susu stuff to be right next to each other, so I kind of started doing that, but it's a little bit unorganized here. I will have these together once I, you know, sell stuff and have some more um, shelf space. I think the, oh yeah, I put the potatoes over here, and the big thing is I've got all four cheeses uh, got their own little area. Now, I've mentioned this before. I've mentioned this quite a few times. You don't need an entire row for each of these things. All right, the eggs I have to divide up um, pretty good, okay? But here's the thing. I, I want a row for each of them. I really do. I, I know I don't need it, and maybe I'll deal with it when I can't use it like that, but I like having a full row for everything. It just makes everything so much neater, and I have an idea. I might be able to rob customers. We're going to see. So what I'm thinking is, I hang out near something like the oil, okay? I wait for a customer to grab the oil. Customer grabs the oil. I jack up the price to $1,000. And I'm assuming that the price it's at will be the price they pay when they go to pay for it. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try and rob people and see if it's possible. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not. If I had to, like, give it, like, what's the percentage I think this is going to work? 10%. I'd imagine the developer kind of like, you know, they see it for $6, they pick it up. Even if they're walking around the store to get other things, it is locked at $6 for them. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm really curious, so I'm going to give it a shot. And if I could rob people, that would be awesome. And then uh, <laughs> I'm sound like a horrible person. But um, you know what? If, if I could do it, it's got to be fixed. So I'm kind of a hero, you know? I'm going to point it out so the developer can fix it. And then I'll be a hero. It'll be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to be doing today? Are we going to get $11,000 today or not? I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, am I going to get uh, $7.30, $8.30, $270 cashier ring-ups? Probably not. Um, I guess I could maybe do some more licensed stuff, but that's going to be another seven items. And I'm going to be honest, I don't really have the room for it. So, all right, what are you taking? All right, I'm just going to stay right here. It's going to be a little difficult when you have to ring people. Let's see what she buys. What are you going to buy? What are you going to buy? All right, here we go. Okay. All right, so she has not gotten rung up yet. So let's see. <laughs> let's see. Let's keep an eye. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's locked in at the price it was at. But $1,000. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Come on, lady. Thousand dollars. You better take out another mortgage on your house. Okay. There we go. Let's see. Moment of truth. Come on. Damn, ring up faster, Paul. Is that his name? I don't know. Don't really care. Okay. Did not work. I didn't think it would, but that's okay. Now we know. I had to try, guys. I have to try. The developer's on the ball, man. I thought that could have been something that could have been a problem. Yeah. The thing that sucks about ringing people up is no more time lapses. I might just do a time lapse at some point and not ring people up for a day or something. All right. So 727. So we're going with 750, I guess. This is ridiculous. So Wait, salt's too expensive? Did I put the salt at $1,000 too? I don't know, maybe. I'll do something about those eggs, because people are buying a lot of them. I don't know if they're going to run out. Let's go take a look at the salt. Hmm, alright. Eh, whatever. Don't be such a cheapskate, punk. Uh, where's my eggs? Oh, boy, do I not have any small eggs? There they are. Alright, be there in a minute. Okay. That right there. Hey, how's it going, lady? You having a good day? Beautiful day out. $70. There you go. Have a good day. How many times can I say day? What's up, day? Day, day, day? Day. Day, day, day. Day, day. Yeah. 7750. Gonna throw this box out. I'm not really, you know, I gotta be honest, I'm kind of like, 
I think the amount of register ring ups they want you to have for the for the you know third and fourth uh, cashier might be a little bit extensive, but at the same time, I'm kind of glad they're forced me to ring people up. It is, you know, it's like one of those things where you're like, I don't want to do it. Don't make me do it. You can't make me do it. And then they make me do it. And I'm like, oh, you know what? This is making the game more fun. So I do appreciate that. Everything's looking good. I'm not even going to have to stock stuff. I got to keep an eye on the chicken, that's for sure. But um, honestly, chicken and potatoes. And other than that, I think we're good to go. Um, look at this. I do have to expand back here as well at some point. I just don't think it's of utmost concern at the moment. 94.50. Have a go, man. It's old psycho red shirt. Old red shirt psycho. Ooh, somebody's thirsty. Exact change. I love it. Love when they give me exact change. Really? Not one of you want to come on my line. You're all going to wait. All right, fine. Old Psycho Red Shirt knows what's going on. Must be his twin brother or something. 75.50. Have a good day, Psycho Red Shirt guy. Uh, somebody's got some cleaning to do. Oh, more cleaning. And coffee. 145.50. Hell yeah, bro. Oops. 145.50. That guy's awesome. Let's get some lights on this place. Somebody said the lights are like $30 for the day. That's chump change. That what that that guy's one that guy's one ring up could pay for my lights for like four days. Come on. Come on, Paul. Damn. Old slow Paul. That's what I'm gonna call him. Slow Paul. It's like, um, who's that guy? Um, Jake Paul or Paul something Paul. He's going to fight Mike Tyson. You guys hear about that? Is that crazy? I think it's Jake Paul. Jake Paul's going to fight Mike Tyson. I don't even know where to go with that. That's like a lose-lose situation for Jake Paul. He's either going to lose and probably go to the hospital and get seriously hurt because Mike Tyson's going to destroy him. Or he's going to beat Mike Tyson. He'll be like, what? so what? You beat a 60-year-old Mike Tyson. Good job. I, I, guess, it's, I guess it's a win because he's probably going to make a lot of money off it. But it's, it's, seems kind of crazy. I mean, even if you fought Mike Tyson three years ago, I think he would have got destroyed. But now, I don't know. I haven't seen Mike train. All the training that people are showing online, that was him from like three years ago. Before he fight, fought some other guy. I forget the other guy he fought. Some other old guy. I saw someone bought some chicken. Cool. And it's already 8.30, so we're doing pretty good here. Me and Paul are kicking ass. I would call I would, I would call him Jake Paul, but he doesn't look anything like him. Is it Jake Paul? I don't know. I think it is. He's got a brother. And I don't know if Jake Paul's his brother. Like, I can't remember. It's bothering me. 69.50. 50. 69, 50. There you go. And that's what I'm talking about. 65.50. Not bad. Not bad at all. Come on, bro. Let's do this. I just imagine my guy does a bunch of blow, like in Scarface, before he starts ringing people up. And he's like, let's go! Let's do this! Say hello to my little friend. I don't know what that would be, but... It is what it is. Yeah, I got, they gotta give me a coke room or something. Like a big, like piles of blow in the back, and I just stick my face in it. I come bring people up super fast. <laughs> I wonder if I could take Big Red Shirt Psycho if I was all doped up on freaking cocaine. Holy moly, this guy. Damn, 153.50! Well, you're no 153.50, but that's okay. Alright. And we are just about done. Let's take a look around the, around the store. Definitely need some more chicken. Chicken. Okay. And let's see what else we need right away. And honestly, it looks pretty good. I could probably not really even stock again in it, like today. And still be okay. Well, definitely potatoes. 
Maybe some orange juice. Pasta. But I don't have to stock everything, that's for sure. I don't like bringing a box out here if I only got to put out like six of an item. You know what I mean? Although, you know, the pasta really goes fast. You can't ever keep it on the shelves. It doesn't, like, you can't fit a lot on the shelf either, so. That's part of the problem. All right, let's see how we did today. I think me and Paul here did just great. Let's take a look. Yeah, $2,800, man. That's not, I mean, it's okay, but it's not, it's nothing special. And I got to go through a bunch of prices, too. All right, that's okay. Uh, let's see where we're at on the on the third cash here. Uh, 655 man. I gotta stop looking. I just went through an entire day and we are now up to $5,500. I'll probably have to spend eh, a little bit more on product. I think uh, my store is kind of stocked, but I'm gonna have to get a few more things. And we're uh, we're getting closer and closer to 11,000. I think I'm just gonna go for the 11,000. I don't know what else I would, I would do, honestly. Um, I, I, I could expand the back of the store, like the storage area. I think I can get away with not expanding it right now. And, or I could open up more license, which I've already said. I, I'm not going to have room for uh, more license stuff. So it's all about getting to that $11,000 mark. And um, honestly, I might want even more than $11,000 because, man, getting $11,000, I still got to buy more, you know, uh, shelves and stuff. But I, I'll i probably just get the $11,000 and open it up and we'll, we'll see how good it is. I don't know why I even opened this up. I, I knew I didn't need it. Uh, there we go. Cheese. We'll move this over here. Somebody, somebody said what I should do is have one row in here match what I have out there. But, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, that's not gonna be. That's not gonna be enough for all of the things I have out here. So, I've got way more than that. Um, eleven times twenty-two. I've got way more than twenty-two items out here. Way more. <laughs> <laughs> like way 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 more so um i was thinking about doing that but yeah it's not gonna it's not gonna work maybe if i divided them up or something i could do something like that but i'm okay with the way it is right now it's uh it, it's working for me it really is all right let's see what else we need to buy so um man am i really out of cereal i thought i had more cereal back here uh yeah i do oh <laughs> one more cereal okay well Honestly, I might be able to get through another day without stocking that. I'm going to go for it. Let's not. This all looks pretty good. We probably want to order a couple chicken if we don't have it. Um, I think we can go one more day with everything back. Uh, we should probably get some water. I got to organize the water too. All right. So let's get a few things of water. A few things of eggs. Oh my God. I need so much. Water. Two. Two. Eggs. Do I not have any eggs back here? No, I'm pretty sure I don't. All right, so what do I need for the eggs? Honestly, probably just the dozen ones. I'm just going to get the dozen ones for now. Eggs. And we'll get like uh, four of those. And then what do you think? Two bleach? Yeah, let's get some bleach. Here we go. All right. Um, after that, once I, once that's all stocked, I'm probably. I, I think I'm probably pretty good once that's all stocked. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. I think we can get away with it. I'm gonna stock what I have now, and then we're gonna go through another day. I just opened up, and I totally forgot to check the prices. Um, I know some prices changed. Let's go through this as quickly as possible. Um, okay, so it's a, it does say dark roast coffee, the one I've been selling for a long time. Okay, dark roast coffee. I think there was. Two of them. Dark roast coffee. Dark roast coffee. Dark roast and potato bags. Dark roast and potato bags. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Whoa, that dropped a lot, dude. What the hell? That was a... Wait, I'm only making 172? Ugh, what a joke. All right, potatoes. Hold on over there. Uh, let's do 450. I'm only making 81 cents on this, dude. What the hell? How am I gonna save eleven thousand dollars like that? You just got buying all my potatoes. Uh, twenty-eight point five. There you go. Have a good day. 
And one dollar. Have a good one. Let's keep those potatoes stocked. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Eleven thousand dollars, man. I don't even know if we're gonna get there today. Cause like, if like, there's a couple things I'm just not making a lot of money on. It'd be nice if we had a list of everything in our store, along with the price and the profit and how much we're making and everything. Like basically, I want a list of this, this right here, the average cost, the price, market price, and profit. I want to have a list of that, like a spreadsheet. Come on, buddy. 96.50. Five. Have a good day. Better say have a good day to that guy. Psycho. Psycho. All right, who's next? Register's open. Oh, nobody? Okay. Well, if nobody is around, let's go ahead and see if we can stock some chicken. Chicken is one of those things that we don't have a ton of room for, so I like to check, make sure, you know, we have plenty of it. Good. Toilet paper's the same thing. Toilet paper's doing okay. Muscle milk's doing okay. Yeah, everything's looking pretty good. Everything is looking good. Yeah. All right. How's it going, buddy? Uh, one, two, three. Later, bro. Oh, my goodness. That guy's got a lot of kids at home. A lot of cereal. There you go. Beautiful. I saw some people saying that cereal is very fattening. Or maybe not fattening, but there's a lot of sugar in it, like, I guess, which could cause it making people fat. Um, like, people are saying, like, just don't have cereal. It's no good for you. Uh, what about, like, cornflakes? You think cornflakes is good for you? Or at least not that fattening? Because I really, really like cornflakes. I also don't drink the milk out of the bowl, so I only have the milk that I eat with the cereal. So I wonder if a bowl of cornflakes... Where you don't drink all the milk. I wonder how bad that is for you. I mean, obviously, if you have something like, you know, Lucky Charms, that that's, might be a problem. <laughs> a lot of sugar in Lucky Charms. Hey, let me know in the comments, guys. What's your favorite cereal? Mine's definitely Lucky Charms. Um, but I also like uh, um, cornflakes. And I don't know why I like cornflakes. It, I just do. <laughs> Can't explain it. I just, I really like cornflakes. Always have. Go... I think that's my last box of potatoes. I want to get... Someone was saying we should be able to decorate our stores. And I think that would be really cool. You know what I want? I want a decoration. Like, I want, a, like, a a picture I could put on the wall that, like, has a sack of potatoes or something. Like, maybe, like, um, this brand of potatoes, like, as, like, I don't know, like, an advertisement. And it should say, potatoes, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. I think that would be great. That would be a really, really good... Uh, Advertisement, I believe. Do I have any muscle milk back here? I'm not seeing any. Really? Don't waste my time, bro. Don't get the get, get out of here. Look at this guy. This this is the guy I want to come back. That's what I'm talking about. One twenty five fifty. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing any muscle milk. Darn it. How's it going? Uh, Steve? He looks like a Steve. 72. And this guy's not buying anything. Get out of my store. <laughs> ah, it's more like it. Uh, one dollar. Come again? I feel like I'm making a lot of money here. Although, I guess when you're trying to build up to $11,000... It's going to be slow. I don't have any more potatoes. All right. You know what? Potatoes. Are we going to get... What are we going to get? Like, um... Are we going to get 10 of these? No, let's just get five. I know I can't order it. Well, I guess I could order it now. Yeah, might as well. No reason not to. So, I'm recording this on Saturday night. It's going up Sunday. If the developer does get the new stocking update out... On Sunday, you will get two videos of this game on Sunday. You'll get two videos of Supermarket Simulator. The first one is the one you'll be seeing now. The next one will be later on the day. And, um, yeah, that will be awesome. If, it, if he doesn't get it out in time for the weekend, then, uh, you know, 
you'll be getting this early in the day and then um, Sons of the Forest later on. It's going to be a win-win. Uh, both series are hot. Both series are fun. I love playing both of them. People love watching both of them. So that's a winning combination. 120. 7650. 7650. Someone likes coffee. Uh, like everybody. I don't like coffee. I'll drink coffee sometimes. Like usually when I'm on my, when I'm on my diet, I um I drink some coffee to kind of, you know, keep my brain working properly <laughs> and I'm not taking in like all the calories I normally take in. But um yeah, for the most part I don't really like it. Like I wouldn't drink it just to drink it. Come on, guys. That. And fill that. This back here. Put the potatoes right there. Alright, looking good. Potatoes. Gotta get them off the street. Is that it? Oh. Yep, I gotcha. Alright, that turned out to be a good sale. 112. Have a good day. Alright, let's look around, set up some more ordering. Actually, before I order anything, I usually come in here and grab stuff from back here in stock. That. And then I'm taking these off here. Alright, we finally got all those off that shelf. Because that is going to be for the other sugar, which I don't seem to have any of. I guess it really doesn't matter. Let's just stock the things we do have. I'll probably do the next day off camera. We're going to go maybe one day on camera, one day off. Sounds pretty good to me. Oh, yeah. Right there. French fries. I went to this place called... Um, I don't remember what the name of it is, but... Uh, man, it was it was unbelievably good. They had, like, the best french fries ever. I, I got french fries and chicken fingers. Their chicken fingers were kind of mid. Uh, but their french fries were so good. I should have just got, like, two orders of french fries and just have at it. Here. We done? We done? Yeah, we're done. Okay. Uh, where did I get this from? I don't know. Whatever. It's going there. All right. Let's see how we did today. All right. 20, I mean, 2800 seems to be our thing moving forward. So it's not so bad. That's not so bad. I guess that maybe I should... See, again, right here, products found expensive. It should specifically tell you what products were found expensive. All right. A tote... Oh, AOT? I don't know how to say that. Whatever. Bottled water. It must be this one. No. It was this one. 350. 342. Did it say it was going down? Oh. Um, AOT. Let's see which one it is. AOT. Yeah, bottled water. I, I don't think this is working properly. Because I'm seeing, like, prices going down. It doesn't really seem like they are going down. So, I mean, market price is 342 If it went down, I don't know. Maybe, I guess it could have been a little higher than that. Whatever. Uh, let me run another day. Let's get some money. Okay. The grind is real. We are grinding up to that $11,000. We're not going to get there this video. I thought we might have a chance to, but yeah, no. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Let's see how we're doing with this though. Okay, so we're getting pretty close to be able to get cashier number three So that will be nice and everything is looking stocked. Let's take a look at the numbers. I'm pretty sure I You know what instead of doing that? Let's just look at each individual price while waiting for people to come in I don't show this very often, but I do show it from time to time and Usually I'm going up to about the top the next 50 cent mark uh, if it's like if it's pretty cheap, then I might not do that. Like, I'll see if I can find something. Yeah, like three sixty-five. I'm not gonna go to four dollars for that. Although sometimes I will and sometimes I won't. It just depends on how I'm feeling at that moment. Um, five fifty. Yeah, that looks good. Six sixty-two. See now, six sixty-two to seven dollars. I didn't do that on the one thing, but I did do it on the other. So it just kind of, I don't know. I just kind of play it by ear. Hey, how's it going, buddy? You have a good morning. That's a lot of chicken, bro. All right, have a good day. Um, yeah, we got to replace some of that chicken, man, for real. Holy crap. Is Should I look at the chicken price? $9.50? No, chicken's it's normal. It's normal. The guy just had a 
hankering for some chicken. Uh, Seven dollars. Have a good day. Uh, where did I leave off? I think I did all these. Uh, let's take a look at this. Eleven dollars. Yep, eleven ten. Yeah, that's fine. Seven six eighty three to seven. Uh, five of seven to five. Seven fourteen. I I am undercoming in a lot of these places. Maybe I, I mean, if I ever cut by like ten cents and they maybe buy it when they wouldn't have, maybe maybe it is worth it. I don't know. I'm not gonna sweat it. I'm just gonna go with what my gut tells me. Always trust your instincts. Five fifty. Yeah, you're looking good. Four fifty. Four twenty. One fifty. One fifty one. Three fifty. Three thirty. Yeah, these are all looking pretty good. Uh, nine dollars eight seventy four. Uh, yep, that's looking good. Um, five, yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna have to order more of this tea pretty soon. Fifty to four forty three. How's it going, bud? I'm a magical cashier. <laughs> I'll be, be I'll be in the store one minute and behind the register the next. So I guess I'm still in the store, but I'll be out there stocking one minute and boom, I'm ready to ring up. And I ring up super fast. Not even humanly possible. Alright, $34. Have a good day. A lot of cheese. A lot of peanut butter. Uh, $2.50. Have a good day. Holy moly. Uh, 50 cents. Have a good one. Yeah, I really thought I was going to hit the 11000 today, but... It's um, it's going a little slow, a little slow. Now, when I get the third register register person, I might take a little bit of time off from ringing people up, but eventually I'm going to need three three registers, and I'm going to have to do some uh, ringing up if I ever want to get the fourth. So, um, but I want to do a time lapse. We've been able to do a time lapse since I've been ringing people up. Go, buddy. Seven. Have it going. Right, how are we looking here? How's that chicken doing? Chicken has uh, been better. Okay, and 46. 50. Are you an agent? Yep, that's an agent. Here's another agent. Do agents eat? They don't eat, right? I don't know why these agents are buying so much food. Maybe they just want to feel human. All right, let's grab some chicken. Do we have any more? Barely. That's the end of our chicken supplies. Oops. Hold on. A little more chicken in there than I gave it credit for. Let's go ahead and turn on the light. Excuse me. <laughs> Just stand on the guy's register. Hey, I'm the boss. What's he going to say? He's going to be like, what's wrong with you, you maniac? That's a fair question. It really is. Everything's looking good. We shouldn't run out of anything. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Hey, man, I'm really happy where the store is right now. The thing is, when I do get it upgrade, it's just going to push out a little area over here. Maybe, maybe what I'll do is I'll... Yeah, I got some ideas. Because what it'll do is it'll push out a little area over here. It'd be too small to put anything substantial over there. But if I could just move the this thing over there, maybe one shelf, then I could put in a third, you know, cash register. Which would help a lot. Right, and exact change. I love it when they give me exact change. Do they ever buy milk with the cereal? Has anyone noticed them buying milk with the cereal? Because I don't know, man. It's kind of weird. 38.50. That guy bought two things of four eggs instead of an eight pack. I gotta go look at the, the numbers over there and how I'm selling. Really? Really, lady? Lady, get the hell out. All right, what do we got over here? So, this is an eight packs, four pack. Uh, yeah, no, it's perfect. It's perfect. But yeah, so why would you buy two of these when for the same price you can get them in one package? You don't make no sense, bro. I bought way too many potatoes, by the way. But what are you going to do? Sometimes you just got to buy ten boxes of potatoes. It's just, you know, I don't make the rules. Them's the rules. I didn't make them up. I'm gonna put you 
right there. Oh, where the hell is it? Oh, more potato boxes? Forget nothing. Hey, guys, buy my potatoes. I over-ordered potatoes. No, I will not give you a better deal on them. I won't lower the price. Just buy them. Or I'm going to smack you. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. Listen, guys, pro tip. Um, don't threaten the customers. Don't threaten to assault the customers. It's not, it's not going to end well. Uh, excuse me, officer. This man said he was going to slap me in the face if I didn't uh, buy his stuff. Yes, I did say that, officer. I'm sorry. Okay. There, 41. All right, we're almost there, guys. All right, three things of tea and some cheese, huh? That's some dope tea boxes, man. I'm not going to lie. Those look really cool. Like, you put tea boxes in a in a green and yellow box? That's. Just... I hope someone made a lot of money. I hope someone got paid well and came up with that design, because it's, it's awesome. Oh, light, light people today. Come on. Come on, guys. I'm never going to get that expansion, you cheapskates. Come here, buy two things. Get the hell out of my store. Okay. The stock isn't looking too bad. I'm definitely going to have to order some things. But not not too bad. Stock in the toilet paper. KJ4 race toilet paper emporium. What am I low on? Uh, really low on. Like, something I need a lot of. Pasta. What's new? Freaking pasta. Always with the pasta. One more customer to see how he did today. We're getting there. We're getting there. I'll definitely get that $11,000 for next episode. Guaranteed. That's the KJ48 guarantee. You can take that to the bank. Speak of the bank, I was so close to taking out a loan again, but I don't know. I still might. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Good job there, Paul. How did we do today? Is that a perfect day? Damn. $2,400? Okay. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. I had 49 satisfied customers. Only three products found expensive. And I only made $2,400? Wow, that's really weak. <laughs> it's a really weak day, man. All right, honey and coffee dark roast. I got to do this now. I'm going to forget. Honey and coffee dark roast. Ugh. I'll leave that at $9. It's not that bad. All right, guys. Um, man, I, was, I can't. I don't know what I did. Did I do something wrong on that day? I don't know, man. Like, that just seems really, really low uh, considering the kind of stuff I have. Anyway. I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.